The Central Region Umpire Advisory Committee has issued this video bulletin to review the use of video replay during the Little League Baseball and Softball Regional Tournaments. The use of video replay is dependent upon two variables. First, the game must be televised or recorded for televised replay, and secondly, the game operations replay official must be at the replay facility with the ability to communicate with the television producer. There are two ways that play may be referred to the game operations replay official for review. First, the manager may challenge by first requesting time and then must inform the umpire in chief that he or she is calling for a video replay challenge. The game operations replay official will render a decision provided the challenge is in accordance with the rules. Teams are limited to two unsuccessful video replay challenges in the first six innings of play and one unsuccessful replay video challenge after six innings are complete. The game operations replay official will track unsuccessful video replay challenge attempts. The umpire crew, or any individual umpire, may also refer a play to the video operations replay official at any time. Umpires will have unlimited reviews. Video replay may be used in the following situations to which the game operations video replay official will determine whether or not a play may be video reviewed. Let's review some examples of the video replay challenge process and understand the protocol umpires must follow during replay situations. In this example, the defensive manager requests time and approaches the umpire in chief to inform him of his decision to challenge the play at home plate. At this point, the umpire in chief proceeds directly to the red hat, puts on the red headset, and communicates directly with the game operations video replay official. The umpire will keep his communication with the replay official concise, direct, clear, and in this case, the umpire would verbatimly say, the call at the plate was safe. The Kentucky manager is challenging the call. From here, the game operations video replay official will ask any clarifying questions if necessary and then review the replay. After the replay official has reviewed the play, he will announce to the umpire in chief either that the play stands or that the call is overturned. After the umpire receives his communication, the umpire in chief will proceed directly to the dirt circle and without facial expression or otherwise emotion, he will signal the decision of the replay official. At this point, managers are prohibited from discussing or arguing the decision of the replay official. The second type of video replay is one that is sent to the replay official by an umpire or the umpire crew. In this example, the umpire rules that this foul tip was caught for the third strike and an out should be recorded. Notice the confusion that results among all individuals on the field, to which the plate umpire immediately calls time and approaches the red hat to refer the play to the game operations video replay official for review. This is fantastic officiating. Again, after the replay official communicates his or her decision with the umpire in chief, the umpire will proceed directly to the dirt circle and without facial expression or otherwise emotion, he will signal the decision of the replay official. The final situation to review regarding the use of video replay is the last play mechanic. On every play that ends the game, the crew must proceed directly to home plate. From here, the red hat will dictate the proceedings. The umpire crew must look directly at the red hat once they've gathered at the home plate circle. The red hat will hold his or her hand up to hold the crew until the replay official reviews the last play. Once the replay official gives the all clear to the red hat, the red hat will give the crew the thumbs up. The crew then will exit the field immediately and proceed directly to the locker room once the red hat has given them the thumbs up. For more information regarding video replay guidelines, please consult pages 10 through 12 of the Central Region Tournament Umpires Manual.